He's had Otani to an 0 for 2 today, which is headline worthy when you consider what Otani's been doing lately. He's got a base hit to open this sixth. And what it's looked like is a man amongst boys. Yeah, he's another level of anything that we've seen. And this is the pitch that he actually got out on his last at bat. The adjustments he makes, Joe, within a game as well. I mean, that's the thing is he's facing the best pitching that we've ever seen in the history of the game. Looking for the division. Grounding one, right side and through. It's Shohei again. Throw to third is offline and it gets by. Otani takes second. Otani takes on the world. Three to two, Dodgers in front of the seventh. For his hard hit balls that Shohei Otani has, this is what I love is the difference that he can do. This one isn't hit hard, but he finds that hole again, the emotion we see from him. Understanding how big this run is. It's become automatic. 10 out of his last 11 with runners in scoring position. Unfathomably hot. On an 0-1. Otani lifts it to left center field. Profar is coming on, still coming, and it falls for a base hit. He's headed for second, and he's there. Crushes a double. Even his bloop shots, he's living right. <laughs> we saw Profar rob him of one yesterday. Dove made this play, doesn't. He's lucky it comes up, taps his hat. Otherwise, this would have been an easy double. And with that, Jess, he has joined the 400 Total Base Club, the 19th player in baseball history to reach that mark of power and average and reliability. First guy since 2001 when Sosa, Bonds, Helton, and Luis Gonzalez all did it the same year, which is wild when you consider so few guys have done it all time. The king of the 400 Total Base season was Lou Gehrig. And now Shohei Otani joins that club.